I am actually seeing uh, more of a mix of generations and cultures in my shows in recent years. And it's so uh, crucial for artists who have an artistic vision that inspires them to get into the music in the first place to really be true to uh, the, the, uh, the purity of their message and their original inspiration because I believe that people of all ages, especially at this time in the world, are really looking for quality and authenticity. And I can honestly say that I'm seeing more young people coming to my shows in the last year or two, uh, more young musicians, including African Americans, who really appreciate swing, straight ahead jazz. Uh, and as we all know, as artists, uh, there's all sorts of industry pressures uh, to compromise our music or, or take another route uh, in the interest of, of commerce. And that is always the downfall uh, of an individual artist and the music, the culture of the music as a whole. So I'm very grateful that in so many times and instances where I seem to be stubborn and selfish because I'm trying to honor uh, the spirit of uh, my musical heroes who inspired me to play, that in fact it's coming around. I'm seeing young people that realize this is a great music. Uh, they want to hear it, they want to be a part of it, and they recognize authenticity. So I personally, as a player, I could never claim to be uh, great, have a great sitting in front of me, and any self-respecting pianist knows that the bar has been set so high it will never be eclipsed. But I, I can say, honestly, that I am real, uh, that I've, uh, I've stayed true to playing the straight ahead jazz that my father introduced me to, it just uh, uh, got, got into my bones when I first heard the records. And uh, I'm finding ways to do it. You've been sitting on again. You old mop off. OK, no, no jazz is officially dead. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep things moving. Such a, a wonderful, um, uh, uh, eclectic uh, panel here. But I want to say on the subject of the YouTube videos, I don't personally uh, have a whole lot of thoughts in terms of how I can control it because I'm still actually trying to get the notes together on my playing. But in that regard, the fact that anything I play on any given night could be videotaped and put up on YouTube, for me as an artist, it uh, helps encourage me uh, to be honest when I play, make every note count. And I can't blame the videographer if my playing isn't good in a particular video. So this actually encourages consistency for me. Uh, and, and that's not my way of, of passively uh, uh, supporting the people who are bootlegging us. But I remember uh, while Oscar Peterson was alive, and I'm the first one to go out and buy an Oscar Peterson bootleg if it's available. And I told him as much because I, I felt a little guilty uh, because he had befriended me. And Oscar said, Benny, if they go to help inspire, towards helping to inspire someone like you, then it's all worthwhile. So uh, I just, uh, it brings me back to the music. It's got to keep it real. Yeah. Yeah. So, to impress the gentleman.